Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Ross Kopelman. Today we're gonna to talk about removing that double chin, that stubborn fat that just will not go away. We've spent a lot of time Zooming with colleagues and FaceTiming with friends, and we're starting to notice that double chin more often than we would like. Now, you might have tried to exercise or do heavy diets to try to remove that fat, but it just won't disappear. Now, I wanna emphasize that we do develop fat underneath our chin for a variety of reasons. It could be genetics, it could be hormonal, and it could be from what we're eating. Now, you might think that after dieting and exercising, the next option is to go underneath the knife. No, ladies and gentlemen, you don't necessarily have to get liposuction of your neck to get rid of that stubborn fat that just won't go away. There's a wonderful non-invasive FDA approved drug called Kybella. It's a cosmetic drug that's actually owned by Allergan, the same owners of Botox. Yes, the famous, famous Botox. Kybella is made up of a synthetic deoxycholic acid. And deoxycholic acid is normally found naturally in our gut to help break down fat. When you inject the synthetic deoxycholic acid, which is Kybella, the marketing name of the drug, it actually breaks down permanently fat underneath your chin without having to undergo the knife. What's wonderful about Kybella is that I can see a patient do a series of injections over five to 15 minutes, and the patient can leave the office very quickly and get back to the normal routine for the day. Now, one of the things I wanna emphasize about Kybella is that though it's a non-invasive procedure, and that's wonderful, it's not a zero downtime procedure. In fact, with our patients and with all the patients who do Kybella injections, and you can read about this all over the internet, everyone gets swelling, significant swelling, bullfrog swelling. And that's common to see up to 72 hours after you get these Kybella injections, and we even see swelling up to two weeks for some of our patients, but the results are pretty significant. The FDA trial that was done showed that a series of treatments were required to show significant reduction in fat underneath the chin. But in our practice, we usually only have to give one, maybe two injections to see a very beautiful improvement in the contouring of the submental fat, which is the fat underneath the chin, and our patients are very happy with the results. So one of the things that I will caution you about is when you do go to a cosmetic injector, don't necessarily assume that you need to get four or six treatments. Do one treatment, come back four to six weeks later. You might need a second treatment and just go at a progressive pace to determine what the appropriate amount of uh, injections are for you when it comes to Kybella. Now, I do want to stress that Kybella can be very expensive if you're getting a series of injections. And the reason for that is because in some cases you might need four or up to six treatments. Again, as I stressed in our office, we don't ever get to that number, but in some cases you can. And so sometimes neck liposuction, which does require you to go underneath the knife, it's cheaper. But again, if you're someone who wants to avoid surgery, Kybella is a wonderful option. And we have seen great results just getting a treatment once in our office. And when you do get Kybella, lidocaine cream is applied to this area, which numbs your chin, so that when the injections occur, you shouldn't feel anything at all. A grid is applied to your chin that allows your cosmetic injector to know exactly where to inject the Kybella. And when they do the injections, there's a series of 30 micro needles that are applied to the chin. Procedure should take anywhere from five to 15 minutes, depending on who your cosmetic injector is. You want them to go slow, so there should be no rush. And um, it should be a pretty painless procedure. But I wanna just reiterate that you should expect swelling, you should expect that your chin is going to really grow and it actually might cause some tightness. 
Now the swelling is completely normal because the deoxycholic acid is breaking down the fat. And when the fat is destroyed, it's gone forever. So that's one of the wonderful things about the Kybella injection. Now Kybella is FDA approved to treat the submental fat underneath the chin. There are clinicians who are using Kybella to treat stubborn fat along the bra line, dimples in your chin, and also along the jawline to create more definition. However, in our practice, we're afraid to inject along the jawline because we are concerned we might penetrate the marginal mandibular nerve that can cause um, a temporary damage to your ability to smile. So you can actually develop a crooked smile. It's temporary though. And um, we don't think it's a safe area to inject. So one of the things I would stress is when you do go for Kybella injections, just be wary of your clinician's desire to use Kybella along the jaw lines because we really don't believe it's a safe area to inject. Ultimately though, I'm a big supporter of Kybella. I think it's a wonderful cosmetic procedure, whether you're a female or a male, and the results are permanent. So you can get rid of that stubborn double chin fat that you've always wanted to get rid of. And when you're Zooming or FaceTiming with friends, it's just no longer going to be there. Your profile is going to improve in terms of the side images of your face. And I think all around, you're just gonna feel great about looking in that mirror because you're gonna know that the fat is gone and it's gone forever. Anyways, I hope you found my explanation about what Kybella is, the benefits, and also warning you about some of the swelling that you're definitely going to get when you get these injections will allow you to be a little more comfortable when you do go for your Kybella injections. If you have any further questions about Kybella and removing that submental fat that just won't go away underneath your chin, leave your comments below and please subscribe to the channel so that I can see you in our next video.